Um, so I don't have a long history with that. I, the way I met him was kind of odd. We were at a ministerium meeting at John's Diner. We meet in the back room, and I was the president of the ministerium, and I'm sitting there, and there's some pastors around and some different ministry leaders and such. And he walks in, and he just sits like on a table opposite us. This is kind of like a private room. And, you know, he, he was wearing like a, uh, a knit cap and a sweatshirt. I'm like, is this a homeless guy that just walked in or what? <laughs> <laughs> and then finally he introduced himself. And um, I, I don't know if it was, we were closing the meeting, but he prayed. I'm like, wow, this is pretty impressive. And you may share this. Uh, one of his claims to fame, other than being the mayor of Cumberland, is he is in Christian Life Assembly's plays, so he attends, you know, like it's like the New York Yankees Church of the area. Uh, <laughs> but I, you can tell who you play in because I'm going to go see the play this year. Somebody's giving us tickets, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. There you are. Thank you, Pastor Charlie. Thank you, Pastor Rosemary. That was a wonderful uh, depiction of the history of this church and this building. Um, Yes, I am Thaddeus Eisenhower. I am the mayor of New Cumberland, and I consider it such an honor and privilege to be with you guys today. My heart is for saving people, for, for turning people's lives over to Jesus to allow him to do his great work, just as he did in my own life 40 years ago. Um, he's still doing it today. And the history of this church, 125 years, this, this building has been here, as he said. Uh, the church, us, us as people have been here, uh, you know, there's been people here serving in our community for, for years and years and years. And thank God for that. And if I can tell you one thing today, uh, I'm grateful for all the churches in New Cumberland because we need them all to do the great work that needs to be done. Because although there's been 125 years of work done, there's more work to do, as he said, and the work now is urgent or even more urgent than it was before. Look at our world. Our world is in chaos. There's one thing that brings peace. That's the peace and love of Jesus Christ in people's lives. And I will say that from this place, and I will say that from the streets, because that's the truth. In this community, I've ridden my e-bike over COVID, I didn't know what to do some days. I ordered an e-bike. Maybe you've seen me riding it around town with my knit hat and crazy hair. Because I've gone to every inch of this borough because I wanted to get to know the people of this town. Really get to know. And you know, there's wonderful, amazing people in this town. But listen, there are hurting people living right next to you. If you live in this town, there's addiction running rampant. There is, you know, people's marriages are in, you know, terrible dismay. You know, people are so wound tight that just the smallest thing will cause them to just explode. And we have domestic violence and assaults and things. These are communities all over this country. And once again, the only thing that solves that is the love of Christ. Jesus in their lives. Jesus in their hearts, in their communities. That's the only thing, and I've seen it. I've seen it how it's transformed my life. Maybe some of you don't know, my family had a wonderful business in this community for 50 years. It was originally called Dante's Restaurant. Anybody ever remember Dante's Restaurant? Then it became Galifty's. Galifty's Restaurant. And we served this community for 47 years. And along that time, I found myself getting caught up in a lifestyle that wasn't pleasing to God. I, find my, I found myself ended up in a prison cell for nine months. And in that time period is where Christ got a hold of me. And he changed my life. And he's allowed me and used me to impact thousands and thousands of people here and around the world through the many things that he's allowed me to do. So if I can leave you with anything today, it's more mercy, more peace, and more love. That's what we're called to do. Because there's people that need us. The people of this town need us. The people of this state 
this country and this world need more, more mercy, more peace, and more love. I just want to thank you all for this wonderful time to be with you guys today. The, the worship was just beautiful this morning. And uh, you are a blessed man called by God to lead this wonderful congregation through this time. There's not a more peaceful man I know I've met than this guy's one of the most laid back preachers I've ever known. And I love him for it because God allows people to see that, his care and compassion. Thank you for the food, the food box, the supplying of food for our community. Thank you for providing housing. One of our biggest problems, finding housing so that people don't have to live in the streets. Thank you, thank you and your congregation for that. May God bless us until he comes, hopefully not 125 more years, but however that, that long that is, may we work every day so that he will be glorified. Thank you.